Good morning, friends, and happy Thursday to you. Wow, can you believe it's already Thursday? We only have two more story times together. That's hard to believe. Well, let's make it special time. What do you say? Today, I wanted to read to you one more adventure from our Rainbow Fish book because these have been really awesome stories, I think. Remember our first rainbow fish adventure whenever he shared his beautiful shiny scales with his friends? And that's how he started to realize that it was much more fun when you shared things with others. And then in our second adventure, the rainbow fish and his other friends realized that the little striped fish that they met just because he didn't have a sparkly scale didn't mean he couldn't also be their friend. So they added to their group of friends and they all played together. Well, today we have an adventure. But before we get started, I wanted to dedicate today's adventure to someone who I found out is a big fan of the Rainbow Fish stories. And that's my new story time friend, Caleb. Do you know Caleb has been following along every one of our stories? And sometimes Caleb even makes his own story times. Wonderful job of that, Caleb. And you know, boys and girls, you can all make your own story time videos anytime you want. It's really fun to do. I enjoy it. So Caleb, here is one more rainbow fish adventure for you. And boys and girls, I hope you all enjoyed today's rainbow fish adventure. Remember the rainbow fish stories were written by Marcus Fister. There, oh, look at the sparkly scales. Can you see them again? Look at that. And this is a North South publication. So you know what we always say, thank you North South for letting us read our book online together since I can't read it in the library. Are we all ready to see what happens to the rainbow fish today? All right, today, today's adventure is called Rainbow Fish Finds His Way. Do you see he's with his little friend, the striped fish, his newer friend. I wonder what that means if he finds his way. Does that mean that he lost his way? Let's see what happens. Here we go, friends. Deep in the sea, a terrible storm was approaching. Nearly all of Rainbow Fish's friends had taken shelter in their protective cave. Only the little striped fish and Rainbow Fish were still swimming about. Come on, the little striped fish said. We have to go back to the others. We are only safe from the storm if we're in the cave. You go on ahead, Rainbow Fish said. I'm almost finished collecting these wonderful blue pebbles. I'll be right there. And here's the picture. Can you see? He's collecting these beautiful blue pebbles. They sure are beautiful. So there goes the little striped fish back to safety. And Rainbow Fish says, I'll be right there. Hurry, please. The striped fish didn't want to leave his friend. It is far too dangerous out here in the open. But Rainbow Fish was too busy to be afraid. Just as he was gathering one last pebble, the storm hit. He tried to swim against the rushing water, but it was too strong. A whirling current of water tore through with such force that Rainbow Fish was whipped back against a rock and suddenly everything went black. Then the current swept him away. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Even his pebbles are all swept away. Oh, poor rainbow fish, how scary. When he could finally see again, the storm was over. Dazed, he looked around. The water was so cloudy 
that he couldn't see the fins of any of his friends. As the water cleared, he realized that it wasn't just the water. He had no idea where he was. Suddenly, Rainbow Fish backed into something prickly. Ouch! Watch where you're swimming, grumbled a voice. Oh my goodness, look. Can you see over here where he backed into something prickly? He said, ouch, watch where you're going. Oh, he's in a strange place now. Look at those illustrations from under the sea. Rainbow Fish looked to see who had spoken. It was a spiky puffer fish hidden among some water cactus. My, oh my, who have we here? I've never seen you in these parts before, said the puffer fish. That's because I've never been here before, Rainbow Fish said, and he told how the storm had dragged him away from his friends. So here he is talking with the puffer fish. Oh my goodness. Do you have any idea how I can find my way back? Rainbow Fish asked. My friends all have a glittering silver scale like this one. And he showed his scale. A glitter school, said the puffer fish. How unique. But no, I have no idea. Never seen a scale like that in my life. What if I take you to my friend, the scallop? She gets around more than I do. Maybe she can help you. The scallop listened calmly to the problem. She thought for a long time, cleared her throat, <coughs> and finally said, The only school of fish around here is a school of striped fish. But there's not a glitter scale among them. Striped fish? Rainbow Fish perked up. One of my friends is a striped fish. Well then, said the scallop, I'll take you to them. Look at this illustration, how beautiful. And see, now down here is the scallop talking to them. Here's the scallop. And then here's the puffer fish. And here's Rainbow Fish. Look at that beautiful illustration under the sea. They're working together, they're collaborating to see if they can figure out and problem solve for poor rainbow fish. So maybe the striped fish school can help. Let's see what happens. Excuse me for asking, said rainbow fish, but how can you take me there? You don't have fins to swim with. Just you watch, the scallop suppressed a smile and before Rainbow Fish knew what was happening, the scallop was on her way. She snapped the two sides of her shell together and shot through the water as fast as Rainbow Fish could follow. Watch this. Isn't that cool? Look, that's how the scallop swims. How awesome. Rainbow Fish had never seen a scallop swim before. Isn't that cool? Pretty neat, huh? Here we are, the scallop said, sounding pleased with herself. Rainbow Fish looked around. They were in the middle of a strange undersea landscape. It reminded him of a limestone cave and made him a little nervous. <clears throat> Excuse me, he said to the scallop, but where are all the striped fish? Come out, everybody, called the scallop. He's harmless. They were hiding in there. Look, there's all those striped fish. Can you see them coming out? It looks like they're camouflaged, like they can hide themselves. Look at that. You see them hiding in there? Timidly, 
the striped fish began to appear. They had hidden themselves well. Now Rainbow Fish could see more and more of them. But you're not green at all. He looked at the fish with disappointment. Now I'll never find my way home. Green? asked a striped fish. You mean green with gold stripes? Like our cousins? That's right, Rainbow Fish said surprised. Well, we know where to find them. We'll take you right over to their school, said the fish. Whew. That sounds a little better, doesn't it? Here they are having a conversation. Their cousins are green, just like Rainbow Fish's new friend, Striped Fish. Wow. From a distance, Rainbow Fish already recognized the school of green and gold striped fish. They looked exactly like his friend. The little striped fish had lived with Rainbow Fish and his friends ever since he'd gotten separated from his own school. The green striped fish were delighted when Rainbow Fish told them that their long lost brother was safe and well. But when Rainbow Fish asked for help finding his home, they had no idea where to direct him. Oh, he was getting so close and now he's disappointed again. But at least he found his cousins. He found the striped fish's cousins and he found the brothers of his friend. There they are. They look just like his friend, don't they? I wonder if they'll work together and figure it out. Do you want to make a prediction? Do you think they're going to help Rainbow Fish get home? Let's see. With a heavy heart, Rainbow Fish realized that he would have to search the ocean on his own until he found his friends. He felt something poking him under his fin. What was that? It was one of the blue pebbles that he had been gathering before the storm. Here, said Rainbow Fish to the school, you should have this to remember your brother. He and I were collecting these when I got caught in the storm. And he gave the pebble to the fish. Oh, that was nice luck. He gave him that beautiful blue pebble. That was nice to share that with them. One of the oldest striped fish came forward and looked closely at the stone. I've seen this type of stone before, he said. They are quite rare. They can only be found in one place. I've found such pebbles in the past. I know right where they are. For a moment, it was utterly still. Then everyone began to swim around Rainbow Fish and bubble with excitement. They could help him after all. Oh, look at that. Oh, how exciting. They're going to be able to get him home, aren't they? I guess that's a good thing he shared that pebble, isn't it? Together they raced to the bed of blue pebbles where they saw Rainbow Fish's friends out searching for him. Of course, the little striped fish was among them. And so it happened that the two schools of fish were reunited with their long lost friends at last. That night, they all had a party to celebrate. They had so much fun that they would all remember it for years and years to come. The end. Look at that, what an exciting ending. Oh my goodness, look at that. Now they have twice as many friends. How happy they must have all been. How wonderful. Now see what's interesting about that, boys and girls. Rainbow Fish learned in his first story that happiness came when he gave something, when he gave his prized possessions of his sparkly scale. 
And he got so good at giving that when he found that one blue pebble under his fin, he decided to give it to those striped fish to remember their brother. Well, the act of kindness in giving that actually ended up solving the mystery and led them to help him right back to his family and friends. Look at that. You never know what good can come just from giving and being kind. So you know what I'm going to tell you, right? Be kind. After all, that's always been Miss Simino's number one and only rule in the classroom, kindness. Because if you're being kind, you're following every other rule, aren't you? So go be kind today. Make it a wonderful day, friends. And I'll be with you tomorrow for one more story time. I miss you all. Have a happy and beautiful day. Bye.